So a lot to talk about with uh, our next guest. Glenn Greenwald joins us. He's a Salon columnist and author of the Cato-funded study, Drug Decriminalization in Portugal, Lessons for Creating Fair and Successful Drug Policies. We've been asking you about that all hour. The reason we asked you uh, to get in touch with us, uh, Glenn, from Rio de Janeiro, where you are uh, this morning, is to talk about the war on drugs. The war on drugs has often been fought with uh, uh, military tactics, with uh, law enforcement institutions, and even uh, playful commercial on uh, television. Cowabunga! The Ninja Turtles got involved at one point, but the war on drugs was coined by the Nixon administration quite a long time ago, and uh, a major shift in how the U.S. deals with drug use may be in some of the rhetoric of a state senator, Barack Obama, here speaking at a debate during a campaign back in 2004. The war on drugs has been a utter failure, uh, and I think that we need to rethink and decriminalize uh, our uh, our marijuana laws, but I'm not somebody who believes in uh, legalization of marijuana. What I do believe is, is that we need to rethink how we are operating uh, in, in the drug wars, and I think that uh, currently uh, we are not doing a good job. Not for legalization, but for decriminalization. Barack Obama speaking back in 2004. And his new drug czar, Gil Kurlikowski, says he wants to get rid of the term war on drugs altogether. Uh, Glenn Greenwald, you actually support uh, full decriminalization, legalization of drugs. How has that worked in Portugal, the place that you most recently studied? Well, in, in, in that country, um, they actually had excuse me, one of the worst drug problems, uh, out-of-control spiraling drug crises throughout the 1990s. Uh, and they found, as we are finding, that the more they tried to criminalize, the more people they put into prison for drug usage and possession and, and trafficking, the worse the problem became. And so what they did was they convened a, a commission. They took it out of the realm of politics and appointed a commission of purely apolitical experts and asked them what would be the best policy that we could adopt to get a handle on our spiraling drug problem. And what that uh, council said uh, was that decriminalizing drugs would be the best way to be able to get the, reach the population and, and get a handle on drugs. And, and once that happened, the Portuguese parliament in 2000 uh, enacted that law, and then the president signed uh, decriminalization in 2001. And seven years later, what we find is that Portugal not only has stemmed the tide of its drug crisis, but manages its drug problems far more effectively than virtually every other country that embraces a harsh criminalization scheme, including the United States and other Western European countries. Well, Glenn Greenwald, that's a nice little story, but uh, I'm wondering if politically there's any conceivable way that an orderly process like that would take place in the United States. I mean, what was required for prohibition of alcohol was a gigantic national movement, and then the reversal of that, an equally gigantic national reversal. We don't see anything like that in the drug debate right now. I'm not sure I, I agree with that. First of all, Portugal is a very socially conservative country. It's overwhelmingly Catholic, um, and and they were initially very resistant to the idea of decriminalization. And what they did um, is what we are starting to do, which is to accept the premise that our current approach of criminalization has been a profound failure. And what you actually see is that there is movement in public opinion polls regarding, say, legalization and decriminalization of marijuana. You see leading political officials like Arnold Schwarzenegger openly entertained the idea uh, that decriminalizing marijuana is necessary. When referenda go on state ballots to legalize medical marijuana, it passes continuously. Um, and you even, I think, most significantly of all, had a very uh, important uh, senator with lots of credibility, Jim Webb, the Democrat from Virginia, um, stand on the Senate floor of last month and say that our criminal justice systems generally and our drug laws specifically um, are profound failures. And, and he introduced a bill that would create a commission like the one that led to decriminalization in Portugal uh, that would be designed to take this out of the political and the moral and the emotional realm and simply ask as a matter of evidence and policy um, what is the optimal approach for dealing with uh, the drug problem. And, and I think there are subtle trends uh, that suggest that we are backing away um, from the war on drugs. Right. You just indicated yourself that Obama's uh, drug czar said he no longer wants to even use the term a war on drugs. But he does, he, want to focus, he, he does want to focus on treatment and I'm wondering if that's the third way here, that you basically substitute treatment for the more controversial notion of legalization and kind of have it both ways. It remains illegal, but you increase the investment on treatment and nothing really changes legislatively. It seems like that's where we're going with Kurlikowski. 
Well, I mean, in Portugal, they haven't legalized drugs. They decriminalized them. And, and what happens is exactly what you just uh, described, which is if you get caught using drugs, the police still issue you a citation. Um, but you can't be turned into a criminal. You don't go into the criminal court system. You appear before a commission um, of, of a psychologist and a drug counselor and usually a lawyer. And the idea is to um, offer the person who's using drugs, and especially addicts, uh, treatment in order to go into treatment. And that's why they've been able to get their drug problem under control because they've stopped treating drug users as criminals and stopped treating drugs as a criminal problem and started treating it right. as a health problem. The problem well, is that if the government tells the citizens that we're going to turn you into criminals, they have a hard time reaching the citizens and, and have a harder time funding treatment programs. Well, lessons from Portugal from Glenn Greenwald, salon columnist and author of the Cato-funded study, Drug Cri- Decriminalization in Portugal. It could be the outlines of the debate on the war on drugs as the administration begins to deal with this problem. Thank you, Glenn.